All right, people, this is going to be the spoiler for review. I'm going to spoil the shit out of this movie. So, again, this is going to be the last chance to exit this video because if you're not seeing Deadpool, don't watch this video. I will count to three. If you have not exited out the video by three, you lost your chance. One, two, three. Okay, I warned you. Now, what can I say about this Deadpool movie? Let's start off with the opening. Which is so fucking hilarious because the music choices that I chose was it cracked me up because right when I heard it I was like the fuck am I listening to? And you, you see the credits it doesn't say the actor's name. It says this beautiful handsome guy directed by this guy, starring a whiny teenager. <laughs> I forgot the rest of it. It was just like that shit. I was just like <laughs> fucking shit. It's starting off like a starting off good. You see, like, a slow motion shit, it was like, holy shit, it's fucking awesome. And he's, one of them, you see, like, Deadpool's ass, it's like, what the fuck? It was just fucking hilarious, like, they're doing that shit. <clears throat> and the reason, the reason why Deadpool is doing all this, because he's out there, one person, his, his name is Francis, uh, he made Deadpool the way he is, like, Made it look all ugly as fuck when they say, You have sex with the ugly, or the f ugly av avocado when you fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. I need to see that trailer again. Like, it was something like that. It was like, it was that shit. Like, it was. And the way Deadpool came up with that name, his first name, he was like, Captain Deadpool. No, no, no. Deadpool. That's <laughs> because he got that name because uh, in the bar, bar, like, he. He was at like, he would go there every day, like, the best shit with people, man. It was fucking hilarious. And they had a Deadpool, like, whoever dies, they bet on people, and that's where he got the name from, man. It's just like sticky. That's just like, that's how I say, Captain Deadpool. <laughs> it was like, what? It's just like, wow. Like, like when he. He met Vanessa. Oh man, this is, this is gonna kill me because I know she becomes a mutant, but I forgot the mutant name. Fuck. If anyone knows, uh, please put it in the description below because I need to know. It's uh, he met his girlfriend now, uh, Vanessa. Like they were going on for two, I think two years or a year. They were so happy they proposed, and that's. When Deadpool cancer came in, messing everything up for him, and he was like, "I need to get rid of this cancer so I could be with the love of my life." So he went off trying to get this cancer fixed. Well, that was what he thought until he met Francis. What when you first see him, he has to go by the name of A Jack. Was I was just like thinking to myself, I when I saw the movie, I heard that name before. <laughs> Until like later on the joke with Deadpool finally found out his name, he was just like, "You got that off a fucking dishwash." <laughs> I'm just like laughing my ass off because everyone did because <laughs> I think everyone in the movie theater was the first off was like thinking, "Where the fuck did I heard that name before?" Like I was doing that shit too. Me and my friend Bernardo was like, "What? Did, did we heard that name before?" It was fucking. It was a good joke. It was like what the. Fuck? And it was just like awesome. Like, it was Francis and Angel Dust. Was I was like, holy shit. That was my first reaction when I saw her like, in action. I was like, holy shit. She was fucking amazing. I got a feeling she was going to be the Deadpool sequel by far because I think everyone loved her in that movie. It was just like, wow. So I got a feeling she was going to be the sequel. And the thing is, in that flashback, this was how Deadpool getting his costume. Like, first he got like a fucking white fucking bag or sheet around his face with goggles, like, chasing after people. Then he made another costume, which is similar to what he is wearing now, but it looks all cotton. And you could hear his voice saying that until they finally made his proper costume. One of the funniest shit I've ever seen. Like, 
he he has someone in the ice right like he can't walk he's like crawling and Deadpool on the other side on those fucking ice cleaning machine <laughs> whatever the fuck it is chasing him I was like what the fuck is Francis I was, I was cracking up like that was fucking hilarious like that's like proof like Deadpool could be fucking hilarious in this movie like what the fuck then after that there's do a rewind Fast forwarding all that shit like in the flashback and this one crack everyone and I didn't even spit out my drink while I saw this like Deadpool fucking got jerking out to a fucking unicorn. I was like <laughs> everyone, I would spit out my drink while I saw that. I was like dying. You know I was I wasn't even expecting that. It was just like wow. And it just like they would see Colossus was this movie proves like the X-Men universe is connected because you see Xavier's school like Colossus like watching the news like yep I gotta get Deadpool and Atomic Teenage Warheads I think that's just name like it's a long ass fucking name I, I call it Warhead because it's short for me <laughs> probably not like it sounds stupid but they got her he she is under Colossus uh guidance like teaching her everything it was f the funniest scene in the whole movie it's, I would say if you get close to this when Colossus <laughs> saw on the high with, with Deadpool please do not leave to use the restroom all that because this part was fucking hilarious Dip, with Deadpool breaking all of his bone be trying to beat the fucking Colossus <laughs> it was fucking hilarious and his roommate, the blind lady we saw in the trailer, both of them have perfect chemistry. It's fucking hilarious. She tried to put up a kiosk all blind. Deadpool's like, I'll fucking fix it for you. Let me, you pay the bill. And, and they're just going off. It's just fucking hilarious. There's just like one part where Deadpool like cut off his hand to escape. Or it grew back. It's like a fucking baby hand. He's like, am I going fucking crazy? Or your hands are fucking small. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a, it was just like oh holy shit it, it it goes on till Deadpool like wait is like okay I need to find Vanessa so he goes to the strip club that she was working at and one of the best Stan leaky cameo ever you can't buy happiness but for five dollars you can and some shit like that I was just like the fuck Stan Lee got fucking gay almost everyone was laughing clapping saw Stan Lee in the fucking strip club <laughs> it was just like yes yeah, so awesome it was so awesome seeing that but it didn't stop there because they got so many good shit about this movie and what when Vanessa got kidnapped Wade was all fucking like damn it damn it give me the guns how many? All of them! So he got his Hello Kitty bag, got all the guns, got his the ground gun. Which he had a little ass gun, he took that one too. Which that was gonna be useful in the whole movie. Like. And the taxi driver, I forgot that about the taxi driver. I forgot his name. It was like so weird. I know I'm forgetting people's name. Like, I'm just doing this off my head. Like, this is. But yeah, those two had great chemistry. And the next time you see him, like, when he. Driving Deadpool and Colossus to the battle. <laughs> Sorry, I got hiccups. It was fucking hilarious because he asked someone in the trunk was like, Bad! I have not told you to do this. He was like, What's me? I'm proud of you. He's doing this, <laughs> trying to do the lesson, but like, What's me? Kill him. Kill him. Like, oh, all that shit. I was like, <laughs> In the final battle, like, with Francis and Deadpool, it just. It was everything you saw in the trailer. It was amazing, funny. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to get way into the detail with the fight scene, but it was fucking hilarious. And it, I just don't want to say more about this. But like, I know it's a spoiler video, but holy shit, I this movie is so fucking hilarious. Like I, what am I seeing it two more times? Only that shit on Blu-ray, the director cut, or oh, some shit. I, I don't mind having that movie again, and watching that shit over and over. 
And that movie is so fucking good. Again, I give it a 10 out of 10. It is so fucking good. Like, so in IMAX, and I saw a regular showing. So I'm probably see it in IMAX again. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching my spoiler free review. Check out all the contests on our video, on our channel. And have a good night.